Hello and welcome back to my channel and this is my weekly review for uh, Casper ASIC miners and GPU and other ASICs that I have on my farm. So let's start with Casper. Let's first take a look at the Casper Explorer, uh, cas.fyi, the, the site I like to use. And you could see here the next reduction, it's going to happen in 11 minutes. So it's 4 o'clock today at Pacific time and it's the 5th of May so we will have we'll see that just right in about 11 minutes guys so let's take a look and see what the CASPA looks like on the re emission schedule so if you could see that um, we are in a historic third year of uh, harmonic phase so it's gonna be a first been the first week right now starting uh, with the 110 reward as of today basically uh, and we're going in the third year of phase which is kind of interesting to see because Casper been two full two years on the mining uh, except there's six months half a year was pre deflationary I'm not sure what's that means but looks like it was the highest reward without any uh, emission or reduction block reduction schedule at the first six months was 500 blocks similar to I think to Cedra but uh, not 100% sure but Cedra yeah it, it also 500 Cedra so th the amount of Cedra is uh, also 28 billion very close similar to what Caspa has and about the same schedule I think it's six months or five months etc right now as at 500 etc for block rewards so a lot of etc been mined you can see it's already 33 percent so it's going up very very quickly at this stage uh because it's a lot of more a lot more mining power there right so i don't know if etc have has potential and their bugna but take a look at the explorer there is no transaction listed here on the etc so it's kind of a clean page right where the Pagna is actually what I like they've been refreshing their I mean it's not clean and perfect yet but they've been uh, working on their site updates uh, very constantly for the last you know few months it's a lot of things been added here if you go and scroll through uh, there is a lot of stuff that needs to be a uh, clean up maybe but it's out of alignment right now but they do have a lot of stuff and then if you go to Bugna Explorer actually you could see the blocks the actual latest transactions so everything um, seems to be you know like a normal working fair start operatable coin it has a market price it has a price uh, for Bugna so everything is listed here as supposed to compare to Cedra is like really kind of in the stage it's been longer than Pagna coin I think for a couple of months longer but um, active but it's not going on much with Cedra so I don't know what what's happening there if they can update their website uh, better but seems like Pagna been working a lot more on their on their stuff they thinking about um, uh, doing the staking which is kind of unusual with the with the proof of work coin so there's a lot of going on with that and um, also they have this uh, NFT coming up so there there are a bunch of stuff going on the Bagna wallet the the app wallet so they're they're working on a lot of stuff which is very very interesting I think in in my opinion I don't know uh, let me know guys what you think but NFT gaming metaverse so there are a bunch of the stuff coming up that are still not updated but i don't know is it fake is it uh, not fake but you know to be honest i like that coin a lot more than cedra because you have all everything is kind of fair listed here on explorer you could see transactions you could see all the the hash rate here reported the header block reward uh, and then they do have schedule actually I don't know why it's disappeared now uh, let's take a look oh, what happened to my list I don't see this now there was a countdown to the block reward which is kind of like 
out of alignment now. I'm saying they need to fix their website. Yeah, not showing up. I think it was somewhere here. Uh, so hopefully they'll fix that very soon. Yeah, there was a happy countdown, but it's just kind of disappeared for now. But it was pretty cool. Like it's the I think next reward schedule in April. So 13 was the last one. So the May 13 or May 14 is going to be our next scheduled reward uh, reduction. So yeah, they have a nice stuff scheduled, but it's yeah, they really need to work on cleaning up the website. They're probably now in process because as they refresh their old stuff, kind of got out of, uh, out of the alignment. I don't know. Anyways, but regardless, uh, what happening? They're active on Discord. There's a bunch of stuff. They have, you know, stuff that's going on there at least. You know, so kind of. Yes, the price is not coming up yet, which is good. I mean, like it's not supposed to go like crazy, but uh, it was. It, it, it the price dropped a little bit. You know, like it was around three uh, four zero three to four, hovering around up to five. Yes, it went and kind of went ten x. At the first, it's very common in the first week, but kind of settle it around uh, four zeros and three somewhere around that price. And obviously, whoever mined that for just covering their cost of mining equipment or power, they're trying to sell probably this coin. So, anyways, let, let me know, guys, what you think. Are you mining that? I am actually gonna show you what I'm doing and what I'm mining a bugna with which miner. So. Let's go into my uh, crazy shit here. So, the last week, what did we do with the Casper price? We're kind of weird. It was, it's a little bit disappointing. It's just kind of still or dragging down a little bit uh, under 11 cents. So, it today is uh, 10.75 cents. And it's been going from 11.33, 11.2. 10.8, again back to 11, 11, 17, so it's 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 around 11 cents, but it's a little bit under, the pressure is kind of under 11 cents, right, and uh, trade dog are not helping, there's, I think it's a lot of uh, Caspa stuck there over 10, mil mm, 10 million or more, I don't know how much exactly, but it's for I even listed orders only, like over over that amount so it's a lot of gas but being uh, stuck there for where it cannot be sold until you know all those orders executed so somebody needs to go and buy that but nobody wants to buy on trade ogre because it's kind of shady now anyways um where am i going with that so let's let's look what i'm doing with bagna here uh, mining bagna with my k0 six of these k zeros originals I need to change because the first one I all switched to K1 pool. It was a lot better working for me. So it's all one. I have 1,000 giga hash, so it's one tera hash, basically of the um, of the power that I have now. Everything on the here K1 pool. So let's update this 2,000, and there's zero here. Okay, and it's all six of them. I'll just put, gonna put X six times six. All of my six K zero pro. There's nothing here. Basically, right there. All right. So with that, what are we gonna do? We we had mine so far. Um, well, I had to refresh it, and we started fresh on the May first, supposedly. Here, what did we do? No, actually, it's, it's refreshed a little sooner than that. So, so far we mined uh, every day almost a hundred fifty thousand coins with this six miners. So, a thousand one terahash bring roughly me a hundred fifty thousand coins every day, and in the week total is uh, a million. 37,000 coins, right? So, got the million. I'm planning just to get to 100 million and then I'll I'll see. I'll probably switch back to Chaos Power. Or, I don't know. Uh, my, my goal is just to get 100 million 
bug the coin so I'll just keep it so I don't know right here and how am I gonna reach that I'm not gonna just do with case the original I also added now for a BGA coin right here it's gonna be one of my I'm gonna dedicate KS3M just to mine all six Terra hash and it's been doing close to a million coins a day so there is a million a week over here right and um, almost a million a day which is slightly less hundred uh, thousand coins less uh, a day so I'm hoping uh, it will it will take probably close to what I would say four millions there a month and about 30 millions here so 34 millions close to three months to get to hundred millions so it's just kind of long time but I don't know plus the cat uh, bug night mission schedule also there so we'll see how it will affect that uh, mining bug night coin so I think that's enough for bug night I know it's a meme coin I don't want to get too much into it but I think it's kind of fun right now because it's at the very early stage and if we have a little back of it it's it's not gonna hurt because you never know what's gonna go if it's gonna co completely go uh, be wiped up or maybe it's gonna have something some potential because they do have a lot of stuff going on there so for that reason I want to just collect a hundred million I think it's it may be a fun thing to have you know in portfolio so with the Casper coins, uh, my solar miner been mining around 40 and it dropped to 37 Casper day uh, in this last week. So I got 272 coins on solar only, which is not a lot, but it's still great, I think. Now, what do we have with the 7k zero pros um been doing from 98 to 94 coins so roughly 677 coins a week on the seven uh, overclocked k zero pro so they all overclocked in the different versions so some of them 300 giga hash some of them 320 and there's a couple of 340 so that's that the setup of 2.3 tera hash right now uh, my ks 5l did not come yet so I'm not sure when it's coming hopefully this week what I've been hearing so BMKS Max uh, doing pretty stable it's like from 455 it dropped to 446 so obviously there is a drop because you could see guys we are from 228 to 238 pentahash so we got 10 pentahash extra so it's a little bit less than 5% increase network hash rate but it is it is obviously you could see that five percent kind of reflection here right a little bit less than five maybe four percent because we dropped about four coins here right from 98 to 94 and about three coins here so yes and a similar here from 455 to 446 so you could see that um, increase hash rate keep on coming on the network now also it's probably we just got let's take a look we i think we just got into that historical moment guys and we are uh yep right there we are already at 110 rewards so it just switched probably a couple uh, minutes ago and the next reward uh block reduction reward gonna be in 30 days to 104 caspa roughly right 82% of Casper mine with 236 a uh, pentahash of the hash rate with the highest 253 pentahash so crazy mess reduction in a month and also looks like it's a hundred ten Casper reward exactly so this time on the schedule it's yeah it's even 110 we are just right here 31st uh, block reduction here so if we don't count the first six is actually um, the 25th one right anyways um yeah so that's a historically in in year number three here on the schedule of the um, block reduction so very so the coin has a life already i mean like two years there i mean it's not perfect yet but it's it's a lot of potential if we can go back to our sheet here we actually 
on my Casper mining uh, farm, I'm doing a lot better than any other uh, any other ASICs that I have for GPU. So I'll tell you that at the end. But let's take a look at the total. So that's that's uh, where I'm at with all the miners is basically reduction, reduction, reduction of the uh, rewards, obviously, and the price of Casper didn't help there. So in the, in the dollar value after power, uh, we went from 142, 141 to 170. I don't know how did that happen. Although let's see what what do we have here. So we deduct in power. Uh, oh, I see what happening here. Yeah, so I'm adding more here to this Casper. Yeah, we'll have to we'll have to adjust that because I'm not mining Casper here. I'm actually mining Bagna coin for this last three days. That's the that's my mistake. Sorry about that. So let's see the dollar value with the Bagna coin. I just want to calculate it all together because it's added here. So I went from actually 142 coins to 147. So five dollar extra because of the Bagna. I got a lot more Bagna coins. Is that right? Does it make sense? I don't know. Uh, let's take a look here. Oh yeah, I didn't count first couple days this extra five dollars Bagna. So yeah, with that we didn't actually um, have any change there. Let's add this five dollar right here. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's becoming this list so complicated now. All right, so yeah, we went from $147 in value back to 147 I think Bagna coin a drop to 29 here. So yeah, that's what I need to adjust. And that will bring our rewards slightly lower here, I believe, right? So let's see. From 146, correct, to 142. Okay, that makes more sense. All right, so we have that even in dollar value after power. We do notice that reduction a day is not any longer 146. It's 142 dollars, including that Bagna coins that we mined. So it's a little more confusing now, but I just want to track the total dollar value as well. And as the value of the coin, if it's going to grow or, de or depreciate or appreciate for BGA coin, we'll see that in the next... Um, couple weeks or in the next videos as well so let's take a look at the GPU mining farm what I have here I switched 153 GPUs back to Pyron coin as it's it just became a little more uh, profitable compared to Dynex so on the Dynex for some reason it was reported that I could make a dollar or I mean the two five cents uh, uh, on each card and I was supposed to make a couple dollars a day and I didn't look at that I was negative I was negative several days and it just kind of almost pissed me off like why would I stay on that Dynex I was about to shut the whole GPU farm or like it's uh, Pyron kind of came up look at the Pyron price went from four cents back to almost six se almost seven cents and it dropped a little bit here today to 5.5 .5, but still it's still a little better and it shows a little profitability here because the um, network cash rate dropped a little bit but it started picking up again because it's more profitable coin now and so is next at least covering the um, the power and making a little bit money after power so that's where I have just the one rig there and all the rest of the rigs over here 153 GPUs 600 it's almost 700 Casper, but I have to, I mean, sorry, uh, 150 giga hash, not kilo hash, sorry about that. I think it's for Dynex, uh, was there. Anyway, let's go to the next A6, it's E9 Pro. I have two of these running with one X41U on Ethereum Classic only. I'm doing one, almost one coin every day, which is been pretty good with the power consumption fifteen dollars for this whole setup I'm saying I'm saying I think I'm doing pretty well on that um, 
just to take a look. I mean, every day I'm still like positive, you know, not negative, so it's good. Now let's take a look at the Ethereum I'm mining with this six Ethereum Classic, but it's going to be converted to uh, BTC, which is going to be paid out uh, on two miners with BTC, which is still ATC mine right now. So I'm doing pretty stable or another uh, point three. So I'm total one point three roughly Ethereum Classic a day, which that's what I'd like to keep it up there almost 17 to 15 dollars a day altogether this whole uh, ethereum classic mining now with the two just miners uh, x16q what i mine is actually i'm mining uh, started to mine cau coin and then octa octa what's that name of that octa not octopus sorry about that uh, let's take a look What's that crazy coin name? Consume and the other one, Octospace, sorry, the, yeah. So the Octospace was kind of between the Consume and Octospace, I was switching around there and I figure I'll just keep it right now on the Consume because I had been coming back and it's actually show more rewards as the price uh, went up this week a little bit so we could see on that calcium we had six dollar point seven it went six six point four seven and a half and it's seven point seven today so yes i did switch back to right here in the middle of the week back to consume i think it will be or at the end of the week i'll be just doing trying to stay there on that algorithm i think on the um on this coin, not algorithm, so it's it doing is Ethereum, Ethash um, mining there on these two just miners. So let's take a look at the total. I mean, the power amount I'm using on the Casper mining it's 19 kilowatt versus 25 kilowatts for GPU farm, uh, E9 Pros, Ethereum Classic mining, and just miners all together. It's just insane amount of power I use and. Let's take a look how much uh, a week after power. It's hundred seventy four dollars. So you would say like, oh, it's cool. Well, it is. And compared to Caspa, let's take a look at Caspa. What's Caspa doing? A week I'm doing right here all these coins. That is after power one thousand twelve dollars right here. So. $1,012 versus $174 after power and I'm using a lot more power here so I'm putting a lot more stress so I'm always kind of almost giving up on my GPU mining to be honest I mean if it's gonna be still do doing that I'm, I'm already turning off between 5 and 8 when it's here we have the higher rate uh, on electrical and just in a month it's we're gonna have summer rate which are crazy 18 cents i definitely gonna have to shut some of that uh, off probably the whole entire gpu farm and watch this a6 because gonna be on 18 cents so let's just put 18 cents let's see what my farm gonna switch to uh just in a month i'm gonna have to revisit everything so right now i'm on 12 cents switching to 18 cents show you guys if anyone has a higher rate power higher rate uh, I'll be this week look how much lower instead of 147 to 142 it's 118 to 114 dollars so almost 30 bucks less rewards on the Casper but look at the GPU mining everything negative on Pyrene everything negative on Nexa I am a little bit okay on the Ethereum Classic here, still, still staying positive there. And just miners, they're pretty efficient, I think. So, yeah, the GPU farm will have to go on the summer, or I'll have to run it just at night when it's not hot, maybe from 12 to 12, when the power rates are about 12 cents or 11 and a half cents. So. We'll have to do that schedule, set it up. I have that already done last summer, so 
it's not hard to do you will automatically shut at 12 uh, p uh, uh, pm and uh, automatically turn back at 12 a.m so that's pretty much it my farm um, for gpu and the uh, just by ASICs, so let's go back to 12 cents and I want to revisit one more time my uh, mining versus buying right here so when I did uh, purchase some coins right here right if you remember I did for my KS3 I spent same amount of money to buy Caspa 42,000 uh, Caspa and two millions of the cedra coins and i'm pretty much in 4600 negative buying those coins right now obviously because i bought it almost on top look at this cedra were like two zeros one now it's three zeros four five or six right so it dropped almost half and similar we have on the casper from 15 almost 16 cents it's down to almost 10 or 11 cents so 4600 negative total with what i mine right here 2400 dollars as of today caspa price because i mine already two uh, 28,000 caspa with this ks3 starting on the uh, basically first of march so it's been two a little bit over two months right so three one four one five one yeah um uh, in two months i am negative on buying and i'm great doing good on the mining so mining really is the positive value and then if i have the asic value in there so everybody gonna say well you spend 9100 dollars on asics well i can probably sell it for well probably more than six thousand dollars still I think I can sell for eight thousand, but just be conservative. Let's let's say conservative. I'll, I'll if I'll post the link like for Facebook like six thousand, I'll probably be able to sell it for six thousand. So that I'm still negative on buying that whole Casper and Cedra by thirty eight hundred dollars. That just that just insane. I mean, like it's it's makes a lot more sense at this point to really mine. Yes, a year ago it was a lot m made a lot more sense to buy Casper probably, but right now I don't know. It lo looks like mining is is calculating a lot better. So I don't know what you guys think. Uh, I've been a lot. I have a lot of comments like, "Why do you mine? You just could buy it, right?" So here you go. Here you go. I'm, I bought. I bought it. I'm gonna sell it until this whole thing in ROI or if it even will right now it doesn't show its ROI because at this price point for Casper it will probably never ROI so we'll have to we'll have to wait when we see uh, this coin gonna ROI or not so that's today price 10 cents 75 uh, when I purchased was 15.8 so huge difference right anyways that's that's it guys for this uh weekly or weekly mining there i think that there's a lot of coins kind of came back a little bit in the price which is nice to see the uh btc ethereum you know bitcoin up a little bit honey still down which is kind of depressing there right uh, Dynex down, XPV, it's so down that it's just like, I don't want to even look at it. It's just was a waste of time mining. But I'm just going to keep wherever I mine there, you know, for the better times. Hopefully uh, something will happen there. Serum Classic being pretty stable and well. I mean, $27 really. Uh, still, I think, undervalued for a Serum Classic. But... A lot better than it was like a few months ago. Uh, several months ago, it was like nineteen, twenty dollars. So I like that p price a lot better because I was mining at eighteen dollars even. What else? A lithium, yes. It is still a uh, very nice. With the ASIC, I think all box is pretty nice option there. So let's take a look at the uh, where's our ASICs. Brown, brown, brown. Have to switch right there. Look at the ASICs value website. So 
it's on the top three still look at this guys 51 dollar and it's actually with the price of casper being depreciating so much it's getting closer and closer to that price so uh what's going on with the lithium mark uh hash rate network hash rate is actually kind of stuck in their 800s so it double up and it's staying there very very weird i think they waiting for get everybody get realized and start ordering this asics after the caspa goes down a little bit it will be once it becomes kind of more closer to most profitable coin i think or most profitable asic it will be um What's the prices on that thing? 98, yeah, 9 to 10 grand. I uh, think you can order that with T Swift for around 9 uh, for May batch, May 15 or something like that. Anyways, I think it's a pretty, I'm, I'm kind of considering now to maybe get one. One of these for testing, I think Red Panda got his already uh, kind of earlier, a week ago or something like that. And he's going to be doing that whole mining process to ROI this thing. So we'll see how it works. Uh, and I don't know, what do you guys think? Are you thinking to buy that miner? But I don't know, looking at KS5L that I got for even higher price, the profitability on that after that block reward change, it's even dropping lower. And we're going to see that every single month. So in probably three four five months if the lithium network cash rate doesn't go that quickly up we will see that miner will go up in the list obviously until the bitman will come up with his version for this miner all right it's been enough uh talking hope you guys uh enjoyed this video and anyways uh, leave me the comment down below what you're mining with your GPUs. I'm just at the point to shut shut it down, basically. Oops, sorry about that noise. All right, and I will see you on the next one.